It's time to build some farms. You know, we've been doing far too much of this fancy pantsy artsy building stuff. I've been doing block pallets. Me! Block pallets! What's come over me? I'll be installing the replay mod soon. I'll be visiting little old towns in England. You know, I'll, I'll be buying art books. Seriously, Scar has a bunch of art books. And occasionally when I'm talking to him about builds, I'll hear him go off and shuffle around in his bookshelf. And then he'll come back and send me pictures from a book for his Minecraft build. But ah, there's levels to this, isn't there? So today it's time to go back to my roots. These are, these are the roots of trees. It feels like it's been forever since I've built a farm on the Hermitcraft server. I think the last ones I constructed were the Ghast farm and then the Blaze farm. And that just simply won't do. And there is a farm that I desperately need to construct. And it is a lava farm that will allow me to start using my super fast XP farm. You see this setup right here, this setup is fantastic. It is absolutely filling up with potatoes. We have, we essentially have an infinite number of potatoes right now, but we don't have any fuel to convert them into baked potatoes and also convert them into XP. And considering I seem to be spending about 50 diamonds at passing gas per week, and also they keep running out of stock because I keep using them so much, I'm in desperate need of this being sorted. The only issue is to build up a lava farm requires literally the most iron. I, I can't think of a farm that requires more iron than a lava farm because I need about a billion cauldrons and I also need about a bazillion buckets. And unfortunately I, I spent all of the iron <laughs> from my previous sponsorship deal with Tango. So uh, we might have to meet up with him again. And I mean I don't know what to do. He's already he's placed some signs. Uh, hopefully he likes my idea of the banners. But now I do need a lot of iron, like an awful lot of iron. Is five banners gonna be enough? I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out. Mumbo! Hello! Are you? Welcome to um, the corner office. First things first here, uh, this place is terrifying. <laughs> you have a an infestation problem? <laughs> it, it is, it is, it is slightly terrifying, but you may okay. notice are, are that we we've safe? got <laughs> yeah, we've got underfloor lighting in the corner office. Oh, this is extremely fancy. you've upgraded. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is top tier yeah. now, yeah. I, I, uh -huh, I, I uh -huh. hate to say it though. I I mean I can't do official business for someone that doesn't enter through the door. Could you just quickly uh Oh oh sure, sure. To... Um I mean it's kinda hard because you know, like <laughs> You there actually we go. managed to put it off. That there we go. Very, that was very impressive. I'm impressed. That's I'm right. impressed. <laughs> Had to use my toenails there, but it worked. Yeah, right on the edge. So you see, you know, our previous mm -hmm. deal was incredibly successful. I think you'll agree. Have you seen a massive I, increase in sales? Yeah. There's a since... little bit of hoppers there. So, yeah, I mean, that's you made like you know seven thousand hoppers, and I put three blinky signs. Yep. So, yeah. I, I think you got the better end of that deal. But Absolutely. Have you sold a bunch of iron since? Like, has... Well, there actually was quite a few sales there, <laughs> yes. I must say. So I reckon it was me. It's definitely I, my yeah, <laughs> There you go. Deal. So my advertisement worked on you. That's good. All right. <laughs> well, okay. Tango, I have got... Look, okay. The sponsorship uh -huh. deal was hugely successful on both of our ends. Both sure. of us. We absolutely okay. loved that sponsorship deal. We, 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 like... It, the highlight of the season for me was was landing that sponsorship deal as it was for you. You know, I'm going to put the Absolutely. words in, in, in your mouth there. Yep. So, I propose <laughs> okay. another one. <gasps> Look at this. What? Yeah. I rocks. That is so good. Look, it's, it's, it's. <laughs> It's it, I've got oh. I've got a big eye, okay, and it's Ron's big eye Ron's. It's look this big eye Ron's. This that is brilliant. Yep. Yeah, so I can you know I could put these I could put these left, right, and center. They could be all oh. over the place. You know. Uh huh. Uh huh. And so, so what you're saying? Are, are you saying uh, you, you need some more iron? Is, is that where we're going? Here? Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. So I, I could I put <laughs> okay. these up and then I just get loads of iron. So I mean. <sighs> I might need to do. I mean, don't get me wrong. These are these are nice, the best, and, and yeah. then they're gimmicky. Oh, I almost fell to my death yeah, there. Look you at do that. have to watch out. A little <laughs> be, bit. be careful there. Okay, yeah, yeah first yeah. step there. But I think, and, I, and I'm I'm good with that. But I think I might need some uh, some advertising freedom of my own, so oh, to right. say. So to, you, to take. You're saying you can do better the than next this. level. Is that? I think I think I could. Yeah, <laughs> and that's really? good. Don't get me wrong, and I appreciate that, but. I think I could take it up a little extra step if I have your permission for this sponsorship deal, of course. Well, I mean, I do really need iron. Like, there's... Well, there you go. There, yeah, there's, so, there's not many things I need much it, It's more. a win-win deal. It's been win-win before, and it's going to continue to be win-win, right? I mean, I mean, 
that does sound pretty good. Uh, uh huh. And so you all so, the iron you could want, and you just let me be a little bit creative with my own advertisement, and you got a deal. I mean, this does sound good. I, I can't ever notice that we've both. Did most business deals end in both participants just being on the desk? I think so. <laughs> I think so. so. <laughs> that's when that's when it's going really well. That's when it's right, like right. both people have gotten very excited. You know? <laughs> when you're straddling the fern, you know, you don't have to make a deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that was successful. You may be able to detect the slightest bit of trepidation in my voice because, honestly, I, I mean, you know, I don't know what he is planning. He seemed to not be that impressed by my banners, but then was very much interested in sponsoring me. So I think, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get the iron. I just don't know what that entails. I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. This build is still definitely one of the coolest builds on the server. Now let's see, does he actually have iron in his storage system? I'm gonna need more iron than that. I guess we could also raid big irons. Aha! That's maybe a little bit more like it, yes. I'm about 60% sure that this is going to be enough iron for the project, but if we need more, of course we can return. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Tango. So this project is going to require a ton of resources outside of iron. We need loads of observers, loads of pistons, and we also need tons upon tons of dripstone, which I I've just realized, I don't know where we're gonna get that from. Am I gonna have to do another sponsorship deal? <laughs> just keep going. I mean, I could just, come in here and shave the tips off of cub strip stone. I'm sure he wouldn't notice too much. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry cub. I think this should be the final thing that I need, other than the drip stone of course. I'm pretty confident that this should be enough to actually get the ball rolling. My glass is just smelting. I am genuinely going to have to go out for a mining session soon though because these are my final two stacks of redstone dust. But thankfully this design doesn't actually use too much redstone dust, so we should be okay. Right. I think it's time to start building. And the place where I'm going to be constructing it is on the overworld side of where my ghast farm is. Now this is about one and a half thousand blocks away in the nether, so 10,000 blocks away in the overworld, which means hopefully it shouldn't get in the way of anyone's plans. Immediately, I regret not bringing a bed, but I just remembered I brought enough iron to make about 3,000 sets of shears, so thankfully we're okay. So I guess, Let's get to work. This block right here is going to be where I stand, and then this is where all of the cauldrons are going to be going. And essentially, I'm just gonna create an absolutely enormous piston feed tape that snakes its way around, eventually coming back to the beginning. And that's how we're gonna do it. Nine, 10, 11. And then we need a block and a piston facing in this direction, just like that. And then one, two, three, I think we can get away with three, or maybe even two, because we could have a piston going across like this, and then we'd have our observers there that would trigger the piston. Yeah, that should do it. This is going to look absolutely ridiculously cool. Just imagining this enormous expanse of cauldrons. And to those of you who are concerned about lag, it actually shouldn't be that laggy because the way that this piston feed tape is going to work is only one set of blocks is going to be moving at any given time. So that shouldn't cause any issues. It's not like the entire chain is going to be shifting about the entire time, because yeah, that would be that would be a huge problem. It's just each little strip is going to move independently and gradually work its way around. It will all make sense once it's finished. Anyway, this is one stack of cauldrons in, another four stacks of cauldrons to go. And now there are two stacks. I'm starting to think that maybe we need more than five stacks of cauldrons in this thing, because I want it to look massive. All right, this seems about right for one half of the build. This. This looks pretty good. This looks really, really good. Yes, this is cool. I tell you, I've missed working on industrial projects. Block pallets. I've been building block pallets. So now it's time for me to change direction. So if I just do a little kind of squiggle like this, we can then go 11 blocks up like this. Or actually, it's probably smarter that I do another bend here and then I make my way back across in this direction. So then we can do 12 blocks off here and keep everything quite compact. The question is, is it going to be too compact? So our piston pushing across is going to go here. That's absolutely fine because the observers are going to go next to it here. And then the piston that's pushing the blocks upwards is going to go here. So the observers for that one are going to go there. The observers for this one are going to go here. They also shouldn't, they shouldn't affect one. They won't affect one another. No, because this one goes out like this and then across like that and this one goes out like this and across like that. No, that's fine. I cannot wait to watch this thing working. It is just going to be 
Fantastic. Okay, most of the second half is now all in place. I think it's around about 10 stacks of cauldrons. Now I just need to do the little awkward connection back up to the beginning. And amazingly, I managed to have the perfect number of pistons to build this whole thing. <laughs> that is crazy. This is looking epic. It is looking ridiculously good. I've lost it. Where is it? There it is. I got scared. <laughs> Why did I get scared there? It's not like I'm going to lose it forever. There was bound to be something that I would forget. Slime. How did I forget slime? We really need to sort out the lag problem in Botum because this just keeps happening. So first port of call before I start getting all of the redstone in place for this build is I need to add the off switch. And to be honest with you, I actually think that is probably it. That's probably all I need to do. As far as off switches are concerned, that's pretty simple. So when I stand in place, ready to harvest lava buckets, it activates the piston feed tape, it pushes the first block across, and then this observer is being held in place, meaning the chain can continue. And then as soon as I stand off the pressure plate, this observer has been moved, which means that the cycle will continue, it will get to this point, and then it won't push any further. Nice and easy. So now it's just a case of getting all of the observers in, which, oh, this could be one of those ones that's really frustrating. Is there like a pixel? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to do a very precise right click, but there is a way that I can do this without placing in scaffolding blocks. Just that top corner. Oh, this is going to annoy me. Is this going to be a problem? It seems like it's rained. This cauldron is just inside the river. It's rained and it has filled up. I'm hoping as long as they're covered with lava, that shouldn't be an issue. It better not be an issue. As I'm making my way through this, I am gradually getting faster. And this whole section is way quicker now that we have blocks to actually place the observers off of. And with a little bit of planning ahead and placing some observers in advance, it makes the build process considerably quicker. Here we go. These are the final two observers. Our piston feed tape is now fully all done. And now for the moment that I've been waiting for pretty much since I started building it. Here it goes. There goes our pulse. And I have fallen down, but that actually makes it easier to follow. So the pulse is making its way round. <laughs> it's gradually going through. Is it going to go right the way to the end? It did. There we go. The system is working. And obviously, if I had stayed on this pressure plate right here, that would have continued going and this piston feed tape would just keep on running. So part one of the build has been constructed. Now I have to run back to Bowton because Grian urgently needs me. It's probably some super important CEO stuff. All right, so what we've got here is the Bowton Incorporated hourglasses of flex okay. so I, however many that. diamonds you've got you put it in the hourglass and then you can see how rich everyone is in botum and how well botum is doing in general and as ceo that's kind of like this is that's important. proper important for yeah, you this is important for me to look at is there uh, the, yeah the space oh, underneath wait 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 <laughs> wait do you wait is, is that you on the end are you are that's you me on the yeah this this look, this one's me my you're... my glass is actually pretty full under there and then, actually, do you know what Pearl's done really well as well? Pearl's is pretty good. Impulses isn't too bad. Scar's got nothing. But the, like, there's me. I was looking. I was looking at Impulse, and I was like, I was like, well, at least, at least I'm gonna have more diamonds than Impulse. And then <laughs> uh, you just look at the bottom, right? Okay, yeah, well. no, everyone's doing pretty well. So, do you want to add your diamonds to the to the old pile here? You can, oh you can goodness. just pop in. Sweet. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, successful. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you talking about? That was the first time. Right, how many diamonds have you got? Well, I mean, I have... I So, I mean, I have... I have some. I'm just going to put them... <laughs> Mine's going to defy gravity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your stacks at the top? Man, I got those sticky diamonds. <laughs> oh, right. and you're making it hollow as well? Of course. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I've run out. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hang on. I have I have some like low budget diamond blocks as well. <laughs> I've run out of those as well. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> let's just, let's no, just, no. Let's just cover that. <laughs> is that is that not good enough? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, it looks, wow. It looks way worse. <laughs> no, I'm down here than it did up there, well, I'll be honest with you. Every day I question making you CEO. The, the general consensus from everyone is that we need to get 
the shopping district upgraded. So is that is this is this is this all going to be shopping district? I mean, I should know this stuff, but I'm just testing. Uh, well, no, actually, no, no, just, no. You're just testing me. Yeah, I know this stuff. Sorry, should I, I know <laughs> yeah, this yeah, yeah. stuff. I'm right, just asking right, right, you, right. you know, feeble employee, uh, to yep. clarify to the CEO, the guy who knows obviously everything that's going on yep. with the business yeah, 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 and everything. Yeah. Of course, uh, of course, what's of course. happening yeah, yeah. in this this yeah. business? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, basically, everything is going to be the shopping district, except mm-hmm. like this patch here. We're going to build a giant whale, like a big statue of a whale. I agree. Uh, yep. We're going to going to build a little tat signal over there. So it'd be like kind of a hybrid modern art thing and Mm -hmm. some shops as well yeah that was the plan all along yep you've passed yeah with flying colors you knew that already yeah especially the whale i i knew all about the whale i planned out the whale okay good yeah yeah is the whale actually (laughs) happening (laughs) (laughs) if you can't figure that out i'm not i'm not gonna answer just another quick (laughs) test (laughs) is to just to confirm (laughs) <laughs> I feel like we have to build a whale now. <laughs> yeah, we might have to. I've just signed it off. Half the budget's gone. We've, we've spent half the budget on the company car scheme, <laughs> and now the rest is going on a whale. Congratulations, employee. The, uh, the test has been passed. Well, that was embarrassing. And I've just logged back onto the server. Green's loaded up his diamonds. Now it's even more embarrassing. <laughs> what? How does he always make so many diamonds every single season? And it's about to get even worse. I put all of my diamonds into that hourglass there. And now now I need them. I need them to buy stuff. So I'm going to actually have to remove things from my hourglass. I thought Harmless Harvest was doing really well. At least it's better than oh dear. This will hopefully be the last time I have to visit this place. Even if it is incredibly satisfying. So here's the thing. Okay, Cubfan doesn't actually have a pointed dripstone store. But he does have... A pretty large quantity of pointed dripstone. An incredibly large quantity of pointed dripstone, in fact. So I think I'm going to make a purchase from Mumbo for dripstone and I would say 30 diamonds for 10 stacks. That's that's a pretty good deal. However, if Cub Fan thinks I should pay more for this pointed dripstone, then, I mean, you know, name the price because I need them. I am also open to sponsorships. In fact, I actively encourage them. Should I be concerned that these are dripping water? Are they going to fill up the cauldrons, which would mean I'd have to replace all of the cauldrons? Because if that's the case, I'll be very upset. I have my random tick speed set to like a trillion on this world, and it currently doesn't seem to be an issue. So I think we're safe. So I will continue to put in our strips of dripstone. I'm not going to bother wrapping the lava around on these sections, because there's only two cauldrons, and honestly, and very vainly, I think the strips will look cooler. I hate to say that that's the reason why I'm doing it this way, but I just I just think it will look better. And I wholeheartedly stand by my decision. This is looking epic. Just the final few dripstone tips now, and that... That is that. There we go. It's like a strange, spiky server. Is it? I don't know. Did that make sense in the slightest? I mean, it kind of looks like a server rack, just with with more spikes. Yeah, I stand by my statement. Now, it is completely unnecessary for me to use glass here, but for some reason, whenever liquid's involved, I just can't think of using anything other than glass to contain them. Like, I could very easily use stone bricks for this, but I, I, I just... My body won't allow it. I am starting to realize, however, that I am probably going to need way more glass than I originally imagined. I think I brought about 12 stacks with me, and that is not going to be anywhere near enough. I don't believe it. This is 100% payback for having the perfect number of pistons. The universe giveth and taketh away. But thankfully, I constructed this thing above a desert, so getting more sand to make more glass wasn't exactly stressful. But what is going to be stressful is filling this thing with lava. This... This could potentially go badly. I immediately almost fell in, so that is definitely not a good start to this. But so far, it seems to be going well. Yeah, this seems to be okay. I I, I can live with this. I am a bit concerned about the fact that I've cleared out an entire lava pool with this, and that has done three strips, and it's not exactly a fast process either. And just so you know, I've done a little bit of research into these dripstone tips right here. They will only drip lava into cauldrons if a source block of lava is above them. If the lava is flowing like this, they they don't drip. They do not fill up the cauldrons, which is disappointing because I now need to get 640 individual lava buckets into this system. It feels like there should be a faster way of doing this, but there really isn't. Okay, I actually think there is. I've bulked up on all of the buckets. They're here. That is all the buckets that I need. And then all of these shulker boxes 
should store all of that lava. Now I'm hoping that if I just hold down the right click button, I should be able to just start clearing out the space. This is cool. This is actually really cool. Oh, not so cool. Not so cool. Not so cool. Those gas noises don't sound so cool either. And I tell you what else isn't cool. My inventory right now. This is probably the least cool my inventory's ever been. Do you get it? Because I'm holding like 600 lava buckets. Progress is coming along well though. I've got about half of the lava all in place. And I am genuinely amazed at how fast these cauldrons are filling up. This is way quicker than I was expecting, which essentially means that this farm is pointlessly big, but I don't care because it looks cool. Final few lava buckets going in now, and I just want to once again return to that statement that I made a couple seconds ago. This does look really cool. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. This is great. I need to be very careful about flying over it. Always check the durability of your Elytra as you're passing over this thing. So the final thing that I need to do is I need to add storage for all of the filled lava buckets and also do a constant resupply of empty buckets so that I can AFK at this thing. Because that is the whole point of this farm. And I imagine something like this should work quite nicely. So if I stand here, okay. Right, this is good, this is good. So if the rest of my inventory is filled, yep, these buckets are cycling well. And then if I hold down the right click button, I should begin to harvest lava and the lava should pop out and end up in that hopper there. Eventually, there it is. Okay, the lava farm is fully functional. And after a slight rewire, I fixed an issue where buckets would get stuck on this block. And now everything is completed and it's ready to go. We have got ourselves a fully functional lava farm which means we now have ourselves a fully functional XP farm. This has been an incredibly fun project to work on. It's been good getting back to my roots and working on something industrial and farming related. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this Hermitcraft episode. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. I've run out of things to say. <laughs> I'll see you later. To anyone who's not a YouTuber, you will never know how strange it is to try and sign off and also introduce a video. There's something about starting and ending a video that is just, it's such a challenge. It's so, it's so difficult because the, the, like nothing comes out natural. Suddenly you go into TV presenter mode. It's a weird thing. All right, I'm just going to go. Bye.